you don't have clothes on, you need to be out of here. I do have clothes on. That's funny. Go closer. How's your wife? That is funny. I work in the industry enough to know. I work in the entertainment field. He's saying you need to leave. What's happening, people, Buzz? Sarah, so we need to talk about this uh, woman who decides appropriate to take six hours to paint on her clothes. At least I think it was six, maybe three hours. But either way, they had someone over there painstakingly painting on fake pants. Fake pants to a gym while I think she was wearing um, panties or something like that or swimsuit or something. And obviously the bra or sports bra, which technically it's still a bra. So she goes to a gym. And she walks around there and not working out. What's she doing? She's trying to get content. That's what she's trying to make someone mad and get confronted. That's exactly what happened when someone was like, hey, this isn't the right etiquette. You need to have actual gym clothes on, not this fake bull crap with your underwear showing. <laughs> Let's take a look at this. Naked woman ripped for wearing body paint to gym issues. Defiant mock apology after brutal backlash. Strange. Well, let's go back to December 28th. This is from the New York Post. This is when she first did this and this was coming out. Woman ripped for wearing body paint to gym. Why everyone acting like I was naked? Because you, you practically were, like, you were practically naked, as close as naked as you can be. As close, seriously. Like, you, you, you might as well just go with no panties next time and just paint it all, right? No one's going to care, right? But obviously, people still have gym etiquette. They just don't want people running around butt ass naked, right? Her apology was as real as her tights. California video game streamer who was confronted at the gym for wearing painted on leggings last week now has issued a sarcastic, so sorry, following fierce backlash over frisky fashion. Woo! An exposed detailing the game flaunting gamers mocked. Makupa has amassed over 3 million views as people slammed the fit influencer. Now, this is hilarious because her apology and everything up to the apology is probably the most trash apology I've ever heard. Like, she literally says, why uh, is everyone mad at me? I didn't do nothing wrong. I just came to the gym to work out. Forget the paint on my legs. Y'all are being creeps. Look at this. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment, and I don't expect to be forgiven. I'm simply here to apologize. Now, look, at here's our, here's our video. Guy in gym presses me for wearing painted pants. Mad emoji. I wonder why. Look, look context right here. Readers added context. The man in the video is protecting the overall gym etiquette according to which you should wear clothes suitable for exercise. Wearing unsuitable clothes or none at all is considered to be disrespectful towards others, others and is also a hygienic risk to others. So she goes straight up panties. Straight up as close as possible to not actually having clothes on her body. She's already, let me look at her shirt. She's wearing a jacket covering her, her bra or sports bra, but still, I mean, Looks like a bra to me. Plenty of women use them as bras. Now look, there's another context added. Natalie Reynolds' apology is to be taken as satire and in any way apologetic for the morally sickening video she made in the gym. The words are an exact transpi <laughs> transcript of Logan Paul's opening lines in her apology video from the conversational suicide force debatical. Damn. So she's straight plagiarizing Logan Paul's apology. Be original, lady. Let's watch this video. Go closer. How's your wife? That is fine. I work in the industry enough to know. I work in the entertainment field. He's saying you need to leave. He's not. No, no. Report you for agency. Report me. Cool. I mean, she's covered. So. Yeah, she's covered. She's covered. So we're not supposed to video. If you don't have clothes on, you need to be out of here. Ooh, you don't have clothes on. Literally, your asshole was almost shown, lady. Literally, you have like a thin little linen sliver of clothing between your butthole and everyone else seeing it. And that's what you want? No, come on now. We got to have better etiquette than just go around flaunting your assets like no one's business. Protect your assets like they're valuable, like your pearls clutching them. You know, you don't want every guy looking at you, right? But some women do do this. They go out there and they want every guy looking at them. And then they have their videos and with those guys looking at them. And then they're like, Look at this creep over there. Caught a creep looking at me today while I was wearing my skin tight <laughs> leggings with my ass out. And look at this. I can't even work out. We can't work out, ladies. What, what are y'all doing thinking wearing these tight leggings to the gym? Isn't it uncomfortable? I don't know. Well, we need to stop this nonsense. We're going to be straight up butt naked all together in the gym. No one's going to have clothes. Everyone's going to be walking around butt naked lifting. That's what it's going to come to because people are getting less and less clothes as the... As the time goes by, I mean, look at this woman. She's trying to go in there in the gym, 
with her panties on and a bra, expecting no one to say nothing. And then when someone says something, oh, I'm offended now. You, you, I can't wear my underwear. What do you mean? So stupid, people. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe to the bus. See you on the next one.